early morning truck drivers. Now get me some breakfast and stuff over here at the White Castle being a fat boy. <laughs> I don't eat fast food like that though. It's just breakfast. Just left the gym. But anyways, y'all got in the comment section, y'all say, hey Andrew, if the rates are really six dollars a mile with new matter, then why you ain't pulling it? Yeah, why you ain't pulling it then, Andrew? As if because I ain't pulling it, the freight that the rates is not what it is. Only a truck driver would think like this, but uh, uh guys, it's real simple. You see, the economy is down bad, in case you didn't know. People out here don't have money to buy products. So just because the freight is paying $6 a mile doesn't mean that it's a lot of freight out here because there's not a lot of freight out here for pneumatic. You want to know why? Because a lot of people don't got no money to go order some stuff. Therefore, manufacturers are not producing and they're not producing once again because a lot of people out here don't have no money in this bad economy. Fool. So, 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 there's your little education lesson. Now, now that we got that education lesson out the way, should you go out there and spend a hundred thousand dollars on a new matter? Because I, I understand what you're thinking. Oh man, he talked too much. He now everybody finna go out there and get a new matter and, and, and some twelve thousand dollar blower. Truck drivers don't got no money to go buy this stuff. They 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 cannot afford to go get no twelve thousand dollar blower. Knowing them people won't finance. They don't do no finance. You got to bring them fools cash. You don't have the cash for just a blower. You still got to buy a truck. Don't forget you don't own their truck. And when you lease a truck, they won't let you modify the truck. You can't add no uh, uh, blower on there, no PTO or nothing, nothing like that. That's against your little policies you signed in 100 pages that you struck the pen and your, your signature on. They ain't going to let you put no $12,000 nothing on there because you didn't read the policy but uh so that means you gotta buy a truck and we all know truck drivers ain't buying no trucks okay how they gonna buy a truck where, where they gonna get the money from they credit messed out okay the credit is over with so they ain't got the credit so now they gotta have some cash where they gonna get the cash from all right then i'm just saying i'm just saying so i'm downtown right now downtown baby that's why I can openly come on here and talk about the pneumatic rates and how things are going because I know I'm talking to truck drivers and, and you know if you can afford it see I, I like truck drivers it just you know what yeah okay six dollars a mile okay, that's the rates go out there buy the equipment you yeah, go out there and buy the go out there and get you a truck get you a blower get you a trailer once you get all that together and you sitting in front of your house with all that all that equipment what comes next well next you're gonna go and buy the DAT load board and once you buy that you're gonna see there ain't no pneumatic freight on there so next you're gonna say oh man it must be a secret pneumatic board let me go over let me go to bulk load that's where he get his freight from bulk loads so you're gonna pay them fools some five hundred dollars you log on now and you see it ain't no freight for pneumatic on now or it may be uh, uh, three loads that when you call goes to nothing okay so you didn't waste five hundred dollars then at this point you're gonna be uh in your feelings yeah you're gonna be in your feelings because now you're trying to figure out what the secret is when i told you the secret from day one you got to go out there find your own shippers email them fools call them you gotta go direct that's the secret but see just because I told you what to do, see, that's what you're going to do last. You got First, you got to go buy DAT load board, bulk loads, and whatever else, one, two, three, and all. You, you got to go through all that first. You got to see a truck, you're a truck driver. You got to take the hard way first. Just because I give you the shortcut don't mean you're going to take, you're not going to take the shortcut. You're going to go every other which way except the way I told you to do. You say, well, Andrew, what do you mean contact the shipper? Where do I find the shipper from? Where do you find a shipper from? Well, truck driver, I'm, I'm sure if you went out there and bought all this equipment, I'm sure you know how to unload that trailer, right? And if you know how to unload the trailer, that means you must have some pneumatic experience, right? Okay, so if you got pneumatic experience, then 
whatever carrier you work for, you should know where they was picking up freight from, right? I mean, you had to pick up from a shipper to get loaded. All right, so call all them shippers you went and picked up from, and that's who you'll be calling. And when you call them and they tell you, well, you know, we don't work with single truck owner operators, you know, uh, but if you can if you can at least start us with a minimum of three trucks and, uh, you know, uh, maybe $2 million insurance policy or, or maybe $1 million, we, we may work with $1 million, two is what we'd like to see. Or if you got an umbrella policy of uh, $5 million or $7 million, that'd be great, too. Uh, could you do all that? Oh, wait a minute. The dude on YouTube ain't had three trucks. Eh. Well, eh. So in reality, they're going to kick in on you. That's when your brain going to finally get the turn. And you're going to be like, oh, man, I told Why are they telling me three trucks and do that YouTube? That little YouTube dude. That, what's his name? Andrew? They didn't do him like that. Then you go back and watch the videos and realize, wait a minute. It was him, Anthony, Coco, uh, Justin Lewis, and, and, and a whole bunch of other people that Giant didn't see on camera. Oh, wait a minute. That's more than one truck. That was four right there. And then you're going to realize at that point in time, you just wasted all your money on all this equipment. And it's so sad. It's so sad. You better stick to drive in. At least when you go out by a drive in, you can go on DET low board and start running today. I'm just saying. I'm trying to save you a headache now. The real question is, why am I still a company driver? Well, that's what you really want to know. Well, guys, if, if you ain't been paying attention, you can let a whole year go by, unfortunately. Uh, I told you originally that I was trying to get a house. Here we are, year into the equation. You see me talk about housing. I done told you to go over and over and over. I done gave you, at this point, the timeline of September of next year, but it's not registering up here. Uh, you see, a, a lot of y'all still stuck on uh, me selling the trucks and, 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 and six dollars a mile. You're stuck on every other thing except what I done told you. And what's going to end up happening is I'm going to be moving in this house. And you ain't going to have a tricycle to show for all these miles you can put in. And it's going to be so sad. And my question is, what are you going to do to stop me from, uh, from... You need to figure out how to make Mr. Charlie fire me so I don't make it that far. That's what you need to figure out how to do. I don't know what you're going to do about that truck driver. I have no idea. That's for you to figure out. I'm just telling you. Mm. Woo. Damn. Mm. Ooh, I ought to go back and throw that in their damn face. That's, that's that, that right there. That is sad right there, boy. That is sad, boy. Woo. Selling me that right there. Who was this? White Castle? That's another one-star review when I get done off this phone. I didn't get these fools so many one-star reviews. It's sad. I got I to gotta make a whole new Google account because I ain't already rated them in my last three Google accounts. Every time I rate them, I got to, you know, you know how you put one star. They didn't want to let you rate them no more, so I had to go in, into another account to re-rate them again. So now I got to make a fourth account so I can give them another one star. The hell is you talking about? You damn right I don't ever give them five stars. One star. Well, Andrew, what happened when the food is good? You don't get no star for that. <laughs> it's so sad. It's so sad. <laughs> you ought to get the, get the ingredients right up in there. As long as you've been in business, hell is you talking about? You don't should have tasted the drink before you sold it to me. Every two hours, somebody need to be tasting the drink. McDonald's started to get it down pat. Go in there. It don't matter what time of day you go in there and get their sweet tea. They didn't got it down pat to a sands. They can keep their sweet tea sweet. You can't keep your damn drink carbonated, fool. Hell is going on? Somebody need to be fired around here. I bet these tater tots, I bet they ain't got no salt on here. Let me taste this shit. Let me show me. I knew it. Garbage.